Good morning. The time is 726. I'm Christy Etheridge. The suspect in the Charlton Church mass shooting is back in South Carolina today for his first court appearance. Police say 21 year old Dylan Roof sat in a prayer service for an hour Wednesday night before opening fire, killing nine people. News 12's Meredith Anderson has been at the scene of the massacre since yesterday. She is now in front of the Emanuel AME Church. Now, Meredith, what can you tell us about the scene behind you? Christy, I can tell you that the scene behind me is still called an open scene. I spoke with a police officer just before sunrise and he said it was a big, big, big priority to catch the suspect yesterday. That's what most of the resources were being used for. And so now that that suspect is caught, now that that suspect is in jail back in Charleston County this morning, uh, is going to face a judge. They say now they can start collecting some more evidence from the crime scene. And it is a crime scene, but they use the word open scene. I'm going to step out of the way because I can tell you this too, that the makeshift memorial that started growing outside the church on Wednesday after the shooting happened, has been growing by the minute. There have been people stopping by all night long and into the morning, people putting flowers down, people lighting candles, people bringing balloons, people hugging each other, people crying, people praying, people wanting to let it be known that that Charleston will recover from this, but that Charleston's heart is broken. Governor Nikki Haley was here just a few minutes ago, and she was saying that the state is broken, not just Charleston. She says the state of South Carolina is broken. And as the sun has come up, we've seen some more activity with people leaving some more flowers, and you can see some people, if we can pan over there, they're coming up with flowers just to, to put them there at the memorial and to let people know that, that they're thinking about the lives who were lost there. And, and, and a lot of people who are doing this aren't from Charleston. There are people from all over the country who have made their way here just to help Charleston heal, just to find a way to wrap their arms around Charleston as the state and, and Charleston and really the nation as a whole begins to heal from this. Christy. Meredith, that memorial, a true testament to the support that entire city is getting right now.